I just realized I hadn't made a video for my, um, well, an actual video for my, um, Altoids webcam barcode scanner. So, here we have the Altoids case, the wire leading out of it. I wonder where that goes. Um, battery pack glued to the bottom. Um, glue probably won't hold that long, but it's because they're both smooth surfaces, so. But I can put a little bit of stress on it and it still holds fine. Uh, let's open this baby up. Right here we have a webcam, which is actually an iToy, um, iToy camera from a PS2. Um, it turns out they, um, the iToy for the PS2 was a great manual focus camera. And because of that, it's good for barcode scanning. So I ripped that out of its case, taped it all up. Um, I taped the focus ring down so it's all just like it can't be adjusted. I, I had taped the focus ring down and everything before putting it in the Altoids case. Found the Altoids case, cut it, put it in there. It just so happened to be like almost the exact right focus to the edge. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so I had that for like half a day. And then pulled um, a cell phone LED out of an old Motorola Q9C. So it's actually very bright. Um, honestly, too bright, but I can add a diffuser. Um, the battery pack is a four AAA battery pack, but only using three AAAs. Um, in the fourth spot, I have a resistor. And so, it's got 4.5 volts and 100 ohm resistor. Um, I don't know the exact specs of the LED, so I just grabbed a standard 100 ohm, put it in there, and it's all been working so far. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So, I can turn this light off. I can go to open back up. And there's a switch right here. Um, I was going to integrate a button so I could just scan, but I thought... The camera won't like that because it has to adjust. Um, it has to adjust the brightness to the situation, so it's better just to have it always on or always off. And then I found this battery pack that already had a switch on it, so that was like even better. So I that in. Oh, no. I don't know why I just said solder that in. Well, I soldered that, but um, flip the switch, and you get a light that illuminates. Right there. And so, packaged up, you get this. You get a little bit of light where your barcode will be scanned, so that helps out a little bit too. Um, I need to add some um, matte electrical tape along the bottom and top so it doesn't reflect as much. But, um, so you got that. And then I can go over to the computer. Um... Too far back. Are ready for bass history? So there's this program called ZBarCam, which will take a webcam and make it well, and it will scan barcodes. It can do QR codes and everything, but the way you have the can set up, it does just mostly barcodes. Um, it's not tall enough for um, QR codes. Um, hyphen hyphen raw tells it just to do the raw numbers and not like it's because normally it'll output like E A N and then the numbers or whatever. Um, on the no display just tells it to be um, have no display but I'll turn that on for now. Um, uh, having the output displayed helps if you don't know if your camera's in focus but since this is like in focus, has light and everything you don't really have to worry about it but it helps sometimes for um, for debugging. Prescale 320x240 um, the camera gets a higher FPS at that resolution and doesn't lose any scanning quality. So that works out. And then I just tell it the video device. And then Crikey is a program that when you pipe to it, it will input to um, a standard uh, input. What the heck? Oh, crap. It'll input to a standard input. So uh, let's open Google Chrome for a second. Joop. Okay, let's go back to that. So you'll be able to see the display. So I hit enter. It comes up with the display. Um, normally, when it's been off for a second, uh, that's 
it'll adjust and then when the light comes on it'll you know, it's better if you initialize it that way so camera deinitialized camera initialized it's very dark um, turn on the light it's a little bit bright but if you put it in front of your hand and wait a second it'll adjust the brightness fine and then that little bright spot keeps it in line so it's actually kind of good that, that reflects a little bit um, so then now I can go over here to UPC database Do -do -do -do. look up so now we have a text input field waiting for a barcode I come over and pan pan can of um pledge I think yeah so take it uh, I'll bring up the, the display window so you can see it Jupe. oh yeah, I need to drag this over alright so you have the display window we got that so then I go over hold it up to the barcode that should have oh okay it was just being really slow to respond so yeah um, and that's pretty much the only thing I have so I can just go back to look up has some other stuff but I don't feel like getting up to get it um, so we have the scanner light path going up to it Boop. and it brings up what it is if it's in the database so yeah, um, the iToy camera was, I never actually had, had it on my PS2, I don't know where I got it from, I think it was like garage sale or something, so it, it was cheap, all toys 10, fairly cheap, battery pack, head lying around, whole bunch of resistors, so yeah, overall a cheap, um, cheap scanner that actually works out fairly well, well, uh, that's about it. Have a great day.